The world of British royalty has been shaken by the latest news about Kate Middleton. She is going through one of the most difficult times of her life. Diagnosed with cancer last March, the Princess of Wales has been fighting in silence against this terrible disease. The diagnosis, announced after an abdominal operation, shocked everyone and generated new conspiracy theories. Kate has maintained such a low profile that she is considered practically missing. She has not made public appearances, and there is maximum concern for her health. Despite the royal family's attempts to keep the situation private, the truth has come to light. She is very ill, and the battle against cancer is being fought in the privacy of her home in Adelaide Cottage. The rumors about the seriousness of her condition have not stopped since her diagnosis. Information from sources like Kunchak Kalaja suggests that she needs to undergo another surgery before the end of the year due to the progression of her illness. William is taking a series of drastic measures, among them maintaining secrecy about his wife's condition and putting together a plan for other royal family members to replace Kate in public engagements. One of these measures which is being made public today is that an elite medical team has been hired to come to their home to administer chemotherapy treatment. This avoids the stress and anxiety that could result from transferring her to London clinics. This measure is said to be a vital necessity for Kate, who is extremely weak. Her husband has done everything possible to make her recovery as calm as possible by keeping her away from media attention and the harassment of paparazzi. However, William cannot avoid everything that is happening on social networks. Testimonies from people close to Kate assure that the constant presence of medical professionals in her home has been essential for her treatment and well-being. Even so, according to the British press, Kate wants to make certain efforts to remain visible. Hence, the information emerged that different witnesses have made sightings of her in the outskirts of Norfolk. Now, this news tells us that they are in their first residence, Adelaide Cottage. In any case, there is contradictory information about Kate Middleton. More and more doubts are arising about this, with news dating back to January and February being revisited. Do you remember that photo where she was seen with her mother, Carol Middleton, in a car? There were doubts it was the real Kate. The British press didn't cover that news, but the international press did. She was also seen at the Windsor Agricultural Farm with William and a girl who was not her. There was another incident where William was going to an event, and in the car you could see what appeared to be Kate Middleton's face. In this case, the British press had nothing to do with it. The official British press continues to say that Kate works from home despite her delicate condition. Beyond all that, what draws our attention is that she has a team of paramedics assigned to her residence to offer her exclusive chemotherapy treatment. Personally, I highly doubt it, as it's difficult to believe there are no paparazzi capturing such significant movements. The media is vital to maintain power, and the British monarchy is facing a paradigm shift. Conservatism and traditionalism are moving aside to adapt to new generations. This could be the beginning of the end. In any case, the royal family, including Kensington Palace, is moving to minimize the damage caused by Kate's absence. They have agreed to maintain a wall of silence regarding Kate's condition. However, leaks from palace origins have often been proven false, while some things defined as conspiracy theories have turned out to be true. Kinchak Kalaja mentioned that Kate Middleton is not responding well to the treatment and might not be seen for a while. The British press and palace officials have denied this, saying she is reacting well to the medication. Lady Colin Campbell's words, however, lack credibility, this ongoing situation puts Kate's condition in the foreground, leading to more speculation. Yesterday, there was talk of Kate appearing on the balcony during the Trooping the Color as a sign of life and well-being. I continue to doubt this. Theories on social networks range from the surreal to those based on international press information. It's strange that neither Kensington Palace nor anyone else provides a clear explanation. 
many people are missing from the public eye for various reasons, including health. The advancement of general elections in the United Kingdom has caused a shift in the public agenda. For instance, the state visit of the Japanese royal family will take place in June, with William, Princess Anne, and Camilla attending. The British monarchy's real engine has always been its princess. In the 80s and 90s, it was Lady Diana. Her legacy still endures in the UK and was partially covered by Kate Middleton and, in quotes, Meghan Markle. Middleton's absence is taking a high toll on the visibility of the crown. The media is crucial to maintaining power, and the British royal house is adapting to new generations. This could be the beginning of the end. This interesting article caught my attention, and I recommend reading more about the Kate Middleton affair, 